to my first subscriber thank you you get a thumbs up from me thank you very much and uh, my second subscriber thank you very much for subscribing this little running session is called the town of steel the town i uh, lived and grew up in and i hope you enjoy the video and it's a little running session of uh, British steel, steel wagons and uh, tribute to that. From 1992 and 1996 before I moved away I've seen class 56s and class 60s as well working with steel trains and a hot class 37 and a 47 working the Port Talbot to Shotton line it's uh, basically the Exxon to Bidston line from 1999 to the present day when I came back it was the class 66 working these trains in the EWS livery I love to get my hands on the uh, Backman one and uh, there's some others that's coming out so stay tuned for that based on the Exxon to Bidston line and I uh, hope you enjoy
Today I made up a rake of BAA wagons and other metal wagons, rail freight metal wagons. Pardon my speech, of course I can't get my words out. If you haven't seen my other video, uh, just watch it. It's a brief history how I got into trains and uh, model railways so please watch that video feel free you don't have to watch it but it's a little documentary i made so uh, watch and enjoy there's a steam special on the layout soon coming soon i'll make another video on that and uh, i'll post that on youtube soon anyway so you can view that if you're interested, please watch. The stations, I ran out of primer on the stations, so I couldn't paint it really. Actually, I will get some realistic station platforms, newer station, like a newer station maybe. And uh, we'll see how we go from there. Yeah, these wagons are not cheap. I only bought two of them on eBay and they're pretty uh, expensive wagons so uh, time after time I will get some more the cost of living going up uh, <laughs> with the cost of living creeping up and bills going up I don't know if I, I can get some soon but we'll see as you can see, I laid some cork, but I still need to lay more cork down. As you can see, I've finished my engine shed, but I'm quite not happy with it. It needs uh, gluing on tighter. I haven't glued it yet, but I don't know if I can glue it on. Oh God, I want to lift the lid up and pull it back on each time just in case a locomotive gets stuck but i need to do some adjustments to it and uh, do some weathering to it as well it's uh, been a little bit of a pain in the backside doing it but it's it's quite nice it uh, looks looks okay quite nice for the first layout first layout if you're doing it it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can learn skills as you go along. I won't show you like tuition videos because I'm no good at doing that. There's a lot of uh, swearing and insanities, but uh, it's better YouTube's out there can show you that. But um, yeah, I quite like it. It's all right for the first layout. I might extend the layout, you never know. I might uh, extend it up in the loft, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. It all depends on the future. I've had an update. I've done the cork around the curves of the track. It looks a lot better now. It was a bugger to do, bugger to lay down. But it's more, a lot, lot better now anyway. Like I said before, I've done all the cork on the track, made it look better and uh, I'm going to do the ballast next. This is my upper half diamond art, ain't that nice? And really looks nice. Okay. Okay viewers, I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and if you want subscribe, thank you for watching and thank you for putting up with my speech I, which I suffer from and I hope you join me for the next video, thank you, bye bye.